What's up YouTube, today we're going to take a look at lead curve problem number 180 consecutive numbers. Mark this medium, let's get into it. So our task is to write a SQL query to find all numbers that appear at least three times consecutively. And we have a table called logs that has an ID and a number, field is just called num, and given this input one would be the only number that appears consecutively for at least three times because it appears for ID 1, 2, and three. So we're just going to assume that these IDs don't have any gaps. It's some sort of timestamp, maybe maybe it's a day, and that just keeps going up. And that should be our input. So if you read consecutive in a question, you should probably think about a self-join or lag and lead functions, which allow you to look at the row before your current row or after your current row. And self-joins allow you to do the same by using different join conditions. We're going to use self-join here because I think it's a great way to showcase self-joins. But in this case, we're going to want to find IDs that have at least three entries consecutively, not just two. So we're going to self-join twice, we're going to triple join, so to say. So let's get into it. So we're going to start out by selecting a number. So we're going to use num from that table logs and we're going to use it multiple times so I'm going to call this one a and select a.num so the first one and then start out by joining already so if we're self-joining we're going to use the same table again so it's going to be logs again we only have one table call that one b and we're going to join on the following. As I said we want to look at consecutive numbers so we're going to use ID to see which of these entries are consecutive. So if ID of B is one higher than ID of A that means they're consecutive right? Because it's just one higher than the one before just like in the example. So I'm going to say A.ID should be B.ID plus one, that means b.id is one higher than a.id and we would get first two rows for example. Easy as that. We also want to join on the number, so we want to make sure that we also have the same number because our task is to find numbers that appear three times consecutively at least. So it needs to be the same number, so a.num should be b.num. So that would be the solution for numbers appearing at least two times consecutively. Let's make it three times by just joining logs again, call that one C, and that should be two higher than A, right? And then also we should have the same number as well. So in that case we establish that we have an IDA Let's take one for example. The following one should be two, one higher than one, and the one after that should be three, two higher than one. And we want to output a.num. It doesn't really matter here because it should be the same number which we're checking here. So all of these should be one in our example. And if we run that query, that should give us an accepted output. We just need to rename our output field as consecutive nums and that should work. One thing we need to keep in mind is what happens if one appears at least three times twice or more than twice. So what if there is ID 8, 9, 10 and it's all one? Should we display it once or twice? And uh, I think the way I understand the question we should only show it once so we're going to use distinct here in order to just show it once. If we submit that query, we get an accepted answer and that's pretty much it for this problem already. I hope you were able to follow. It's just a basic self-join done twice. Uh, you need to wrap your head around these join conditions, but that is something you see quite often. It's often used when comparing something to the following day. For example, the weather questions on lead code to compare tomorrow's temperature to today's temperature. You're going to use a similar kind of self-join 
based on the dates being one higher than the day before and in this case we're just going to use id so this question is quite nice i gave an upload hope you liked it too i'm trying to go through all leadcode database problems on this channel starting with the ones that are available without leadcode premium so everyone can follow along so there should be nothing stopping you from studying with me and if you want to keep learning just make sure to subscribe or stick around for other videos see you all in the next video